guest time and good day. Uh, my name is Mark Hyam. I'm with PeaceWorks. Our organization does public education and advocacy around multiple issues, including climate change. We do not endorse or oppose candidates for office, but we do inform our members, supporters, and the public at large as to where the candidates stand on issues that concern us. We've invited all the candidates running for Boone County Commission or state legislature seats in Boone County who are in contested races to address questions we've shared with them in advance regarding climate change and climate action. We're limiting each interview to a maximum of 10 minutes. I'm here today with Judy Baker, who is running for the Missouri Senate. We appreciate her taking the time to respond and thus make her views known. I'll be asking her questions we've shared in advance and only doing follow-up if it seems that it would be helpful to clarify a response. Good day, Judy Baker, and thank you so hey much. Hey there, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Let's begin with the first question. Uh, it's actually a three-part question. Do you accept the scientific consensus that climate change is real, human-caused, and happening now? In your opinion, is human-caused climate change a serious concern? And if elected, would you make addressing the climate crisis a top-tier concern? Yes, and I'm really glad to be asked this question and good day to you, Mark, and to the viewers uh, that will see this. It's really nice to see you guys. Um, well, you know, virtually, <laughs> I get a chance to talk with you. Um, I do, um, I, I have been a longtime advocate for uh, addressing climate change um, from my, from early on with my own family um, and uh, commitment in my own family to um, uh, do the things we needed to do to reduce our carbon footprint, um, including, you know, having fuel efficient cars and having um, a sustainable uh, food supply lifestyle and because we garden a lot and I've taught my kids how to do that and um, <clears throat> recycling, re, uh, you know, reusing uh, all of that stuff. That's early. And then when I was a uh, state representative, <clears throat> I was one of the only state representatives that um, uh, submitted um, bills that had anything to do with the environment. And a couple of them actually passed after I left, which uh, one of them was the Renewable Energy Loan Authority. And um, another was um, uh, efficiency building, uh, the state building efficiency bills. As we know, um, you know, a carbon footprint, one of the largest contributors to the carbon footprint are um, our residences and buildings. So efficiency in the state government, you know, a state senator has only, you know, only says grace over um, state issues. And so that was a state issue I thought we could um, address. So we did. Um, and there were a few others that we also, um, the uh, Energy Star rating was a bill I uh, actually put in as well. So, um, so that, that was my commitment um, but way back then. And of course, um, I will have a sustained commitment to a climate change when I'm your senator. All right, what specific policy initiatives would you pursue to address climate change on the state level now? Well, you know, I think it would be a good idea to look at, I know that several other um, state legislators uh, in other states have, have worked on and passed climate action and adaptation plans statewide. Um, I think that that is a, um, you know, that's going to take some time and we've got to just get it started. Uh, when I'm there, um, I, I think what we do is we start with some bills that um, uh, do things like uh, restore local control um, uh, to to address um, the the uh, greenhouse emissions from farming um, and do some more you know do some more incentives for sustainable farming. Um, uh, we'll start there. Um, I'd also like to do a task force. Um, that lo starts to look at a climate action and adaptation plan. Uh, I don't think there's ever been an energy task force uh, created at the state level yet, but that's how we did it in Columbia. We started with, you know, getting uh, experts together along with community uh, con and constituents and uh, advocates and so on. And we were able to do that in a few short years here in our own community. So taking that model and, and putting it to work possibly at the um, uh, state level is a, is a great idea. 
Um, I would like to also uh, start a uh, environmental um, advocacy uh, um, caucus when I get there. So, you know, trying to get a bipartisan, start to get bipartisan education going on and bipartisan um, support of issues that have to do with climate. Um, I do believe that we haven't, we talk past each other a lot. Um, and they politicize, and the, the issue has been politicized. So I would like to bring the senator, some of the senators who really care about this issue together on both sides of the aisle. All right, what do you see, Judy Baker, is the greatest obstacles to enacting and implementing the policies you see needed? And how would you address these obstacles? Well, I, I do think that um, uh, probably the biggest obstacle at the state level is that you have uh, a legislature that has a super majority of people who do not recognize the science behind climate change. Uh, I'm not gonna say that all of them um, are in that camp, but the, I will say, I can say probably unequivocally that it, the, it is uh, the people who believe uh, the science of climate change are in the minority in the, at least the Senate and the House. So um, that's why I, I think we should propose um, beginning to work with the majority and talk with them about what's, um, uh, why this is important. <laughs> you know, we have fires, we have floods, we have uh, hurricanes, we have, um, you know, a rising tide. Um, there's all kinds of things that are un deniable signs that climate change is occurring. Um, and we've got to figure out a way to be on the path to putting Missouri uh, in a more sustainable footing. Right, you've already addressed our fourth question, but I'll give it to you again anyway. Would you favor Missouri adopting a climate action and adaptation plan? And if so, would you take the initiative to propose moving this forward as a Senator? You know, I think definitely, um, let me turn this off. I'm getting phone calls all the time these days. Um, I, uh, 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 yes, I did mention it. And, um, uh, my, you know, my plan would be for us to start that process and see, um, uh, I, you know, I think we need an organized effort. I really do um, to put, do something like that. Um, uh, it has been done in other states. It's been done in conservative states. So I do think that we can get there. Um, it has to be something that assures um, that there is a plan and not a whole lot of disruption and confusion. All right. And lastly, are there any other thoughts you have regarding addressing climate change you'd like to share with voters? Uh, you know, the only thing I would say is, you know, so much of this uh, of our problem has been at the top of the uh, at the top of the government. The federal government has been um, to it, not totally gutted, but largely gutted of people who um, accept um, climate change and the human contribution to it. And um, you know, even as a state senator, I hope to find ways that I can work with um, uh, entities that um, that are at the federal government and have a little bit more power and push and sway over some of the agencies that we would need to work with here at the state level. One of those being um, the CDC, um, because I'm, I'm a public health person, you know, um, the CDC would be a good, um, partner with me as a state senator um, in their building re resilience against climate effects, their BRACE framework that they call it. Um, so I'd like to look at what we could do there. Excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. I know you're very busy and I will end the call now. Not too Thank busy you. for you. <laughs> Take good care. Thank you so much and, and all of your viewers. Thanks, Judy. Bye-bye. I ask for your support for state senate.